Today in this video, we're going to be doing some civil FE exam review, and we're going to be focusing specifically on dynamics. So I do have some practice problems for you all today, and I want to go ahead and get straight into the content. So I'm going to make myself smaller. And before I start my videos, I like to explain what specific topic I will be covering from the FE handbook. So here I am um, in the reference manual and we are in the civil section. And this test is going to be in chronological order of these topics. So uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do because I have went over every single uh, concept that will be on this exam. So with practice problems, I give you a ton of information. So this is something that you would find valuable. I mean, you want to pass on your next try. Definitely go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Okay. So today we'll be looking at kinematics. Um, and I do have a practice problem for you here. All right. So this one says, a car begins driving from a stationary position. It accelerates at four meters per second square for 10 seconds, then travels at a steady speed for another 10 seconds, all in the same direction. How much distance has it covered since it started driving? All right, so first thing I like to do when I'm starting a problem like this is to ask myself, can I use the reference? handbook for this? And my answer would be yes. I, I am solving for distance. So I understand that this is a dynamics problem. And I know that they give me a series of different equations that I can use to get distance, to get velocities, to get accelerations. But for this specific problem, I need distance. So what I've done is I've pulled uh, the formula that I will need um, from the manual and just went ahead and plopped it on here. Um, and it's this equation right here. S equals S zero plus V zero T plus one half A zero T squared. All right. And so I know that that formula will give me the distance that I need for part of the equation. I know that'll give me my distance for part of the equation because I know my acceleration. But at a certain point, my acceleration equals zero because uh, the car is moving at a constant speed. So there's no um, change in speed over change in time. So I would still need to know what my velocity is at a certain at the uh, when it stops accelerating so that I can get the distance of the remaining uh, piece for that that other 10 seconds. So I'm going to use uh, a equals dv over dt for that. But there are some important things that you need to know, right? Um, if you are a little bit iffy uh, or feel like you don't clearly understand uh, those symbols. What you can do is in your bookmark sections to the left, you're going to see a dynamic section. And they cover what the symbols in the equations represent. So let me show you where I pulled those formulas from. Particle rectilinear motion. So these are the list of formulas where you can, if you have velocity, acceleration, or time, you're able to pull those formulas. So I pulled this one right here um, and this one right here. But you may not know what S is or V or A. So if you don't scroll up here 
S is position coordinate, a distance. Uh, T is time, V is velocity, A is acceleration. So your handbook is meant to help you. And if you don't know what symbols mean, don't be afraid to kind of look um, and guide yourself that way. All right, so let's dig in. First things first, we're gonna solve our distance uh, for when it's accelerating. And then we'll solve for the distance when it's at a constant speed. All right, so S, E, so S is equal to, all right, what is S zero? S zero is going to be zero. We haven't moved the beginning S zero. It's just the beginning distance. We haven't moved. So zero distance. Uh, what's our velocity at the beginning? Well, we haven't moved, so it's zero again. What's our time uh, for this span? Well, it's gonna be 10 seconds plus one over two. What's our uh, acceleration? Well, uh, the acceleration for this span is going to be four meters per second squared. And then our time again is 10 squared. All right, so this cancels. All right, so this is 400 divided by two. Which is 200 meters. So this distance is 200 meters. And hopefully this isn't too small. I tried to zoom in as much as possible. I know for those who are watching on the phone, this might be a little bit tougher for you to see so if you have an ipad or tablet or computer it's probably best um, to use for my videos um, and i'll see if i can do some better zooming in but to get everything on the screen kind of have to zoom out so that you can see everything all right so um, we have our distance as it's accelerating how do we get our distance for when it's at a constant speed. Well, I know that if I know, what is velocity, right? Well, velocity is just V is equal to meters per second, right? And then I know, how can I cancel the second out to get just meters, all right, a distance. Well, I need to know a time, right? Or seconds, right? Because those will cancel and then I'll have a distance. So how do I do that? Well, I have acceleration. I know the change in time. Do I know the change in velocity? All right. Velocity is my huge thing. So if I can find the velocity at which it ends with, then I'll be able to uh, multiply it by the 10 seconds that I have to get that other distance. So I'm going to say, here, then I'm gonna break this A. I know my A, which is um, for this span is four meters. So let's just say A is equal to four meters per 
per second squared, which is equal to the change in V, right? So V final minus V initial over the change in T, which is T final minus T initial. All right. So going back to this span, we're about to find our V final, all right? Once we get this V final, we know we're good to go. So what is my V final? Well, we don't know. What is my V initial? Well, we do know that. So we know that V final minus zero because zero is our initial speed. And again, uh, T final, we end at T, uh, 10 seconds. And we start at zero seconds. All right. So these basically cancel, all right? It's just zero. So now all we need is to multiply by 10 and we'll get our V final. So this again is equal to four meters per second squared. Okay. So 10 times four. So 40 meters per second is equal to V final. Okay. So we know at the end of it accelerating, it's uh, final velocity is 40 meters per second. All right. So now if we know that that 40 meters per second stays the same, the constant speed, well, 40 meters per second times, how long does it do that? Well, it goes for 10 seconds, which means that it goes for a distance of another 400 meters. So this distance is 400 meters. Okay, so what's our total distance? Well, I'll uh, just put distance is equal to, we go for 200, and then we go for 400, so we have a total of 600 meters. And so our answer is going to be C. Okay. So hopefully that made some sense. Um, just want to give some quick shout outs um, for those who have been watching the channel for a while. You know, I have started out, well, everyone starts out with zero subscribers, but appreciate all the support. We have grown now to 400 subscribers. Very, very exciting. I keep subscribing. I keep leaving comments, keep asking questions. Um, I really want this thing to grow and it has been um, so well. So very appreciative. The more, um, likes, comments, shares, whatever, the more that YouTube will actually push it out. And so uh, more people that are in the civil section of the exam can get help uh, so that they're able to pass. Those who are looking to, who are seeking help, who are, you know, trying to improve their situation, trying to pass this thing, we want them to have the uh, a really good opportunity. So really excited for that. Um, for those who are looking maybe to get some one-on-one -on -one help, um, feel free to book a call with me. I do work with individuals one-on-one, -on -one, um, coaching them, giving them strategies for not only concepts, but for how to attack the test to be able to meet the time requirements, to be able to strategize, to even if you have a quick glance at the question, you have a better opportunity to get uh, those questions right. So 
um, want to put you in the best situation to pass this test so you can make more money so that you can, you know, uh, level up your career, make more, more money. Um, you'll be eligible to get your PE. And I know some people, it's been a while since you've, um, you know, been in school. It's been a while since you've taken this test. Um, I ultimately failed the exam twice and it really frustrated me. So I figured, hey, why not? I like helping people. I like giving them information. I like helping them overcome challenges. So why not? So uh, definitely book a call with me, um, subscribe to the channel, um, check out all the resources I have down below. I have some discounts to some other programs if you don't wanna work with me. Um, I also have some study guides. So if you just wanna study all on your own, you have a packet where you'll have a list of all the topics. You can choose your study dates, a bunch of different things you can do. So um, thanks for watching this video and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.